Hi folks, Bill Steele here, and I thought what I'd do in this quick little video is uh, show you a quick little tip that we have uh, for improving the retraction of your filament. So you can see I actually have this, uh, what we call the 3D Chameleon PTFE coupler here, and that's actually connecting a uh, small piece of PTFE tube that we have down into the hot end with the stock PTFE tube. And the reason why we're doing this is in the 3D Chameleon kit, we actually include a special 85 millimeter length of 1.8 millimeter diameter PTFE tube. This is a smaller diameter tube on the inside than the rest of the stock uh, extruder and uh, PTFE tube system. And the reason for doing this is so that when we're doing our tip shaping, uh, what we want to happen is we want to have the uh, filament, the tip of the filament, cool to a diameter that is smaller than the rest of the system. So we include this in the kit uh, specifically for that purpose. And what I've done here is I've simply removed the filament or the PTFE tube from the stock extruder. I've reinserted this tube all the way down into it. Now when you do that you want to make sure your extruder is hot so that this will actually a, a pull out easy but also reinsert easy all the way down into the hot end. This should go all the way down and as far as the stock one went. And then once that's there, we then construct this little device. Um, basically, you print out this th uh, 3D Chameleon PTFE coupler, which you can go and download from Thingiverse. Um, and uh, in the kit, you also uh, get some of these uh, PTFE PC4M10 connectors. That's with the black tips. And they just screw right into this. So as we line this up I'll just screw right right in and you're going to screw those in on both sides all the way down and you might need your wrench that it's included with the printer for this but and then once you have that make sure that you have the flared end of this up that's going to be out you're just going to insert that into this just like that all the way through and then you'll take your cable, the, the tube that you had coming out of the printer and you will insert that into the top here and insert that right into the printer just like you see there. And what that's going to do is that's going to, when the filament is still molten and, and melted basically, that's going to keep it at a smaller diameter than the rest of the system. And that should allow it to go all the way through your PTFE tube and exit out of your extruder. So one other thing that I do here is I um, want to demonstrate. I'll grab a piece of spare uh, tube here. So let's say that this was this replacement tube here, and let's say it was too long. You can always cut this short using a razor blade. So um, I want to caution you against using anything other than a razor blade. For example, if you use something like side cutters, you can destroy this and um, you'd have to cut it even shorter. Let me just demonstrate that here. So if I come up closer to the camera here, you can see that I have a nice straight cut from factory. Let me just go ahead and cut some of this off. By cutting it with side cutters, you can see that I've actually collapsed that. Let's see if I can get it to focus in on this. There you can see it's, it's collapsed to a point crushed the tube basically all right and we don't want to have that uh, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we cut this tube off we cut it nice and straight and parallel using a uh, razor blade so we just cut that straight down i'm just going to push down onto this metal straight down just like that and that's going to give us a nice straight cut so you can see at that. Let's see if we can get it back into the camera view. There we go. Come on, focus camera. I put my hand behind it. There you go. So there I have a nice straight cut instead of a well, let's compare that to the crushed cut of the uh, side cutters. You can see the even though it will help me focus. Nice crush. So the filament will never travel through this. It'll travel through this just fine.
So make sure you cut those off straight, feeding into it. Make sure you have the flared end up feeding into this and make sure you have this inserted all the way into the bottom and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.